Good Friday afternoon, everybody, live and direct from House Onik. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me on our various social media networks. Questions about the forecast? Again, if you'd like to know more about what's going on, you can check out the forecast in the blue bar right here and then down in the red bar at the bottom of the screen. You've got plenty of information in regards to where social media you can find out there, not to mention right up there and also on screen right up there there. Still getting used to this new camera thing. And of course, you can check out the forecast as well at wreg.com slash weather. This is our mid to late afternoon update. We are going to be seeing again the possibility of some changes in the forecast as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll try to outline everything for you at this point. But the main thing you're going to need to do, uh, this being recorded during Friday afternoon, you're going to want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 uh, throughout the weekend for updates as to what's going to be going on with the forecast. That's the only way to really to keep up to Today with the best weather information with the weather experts we will bring you as much information as we possibly can out there to keep you updated as to what's going on currently we've got a lot of wind north of us the jet stream just north of us and making its way back over toward the east coast states where it's traveling upstream and bringing some snowfall back up to around the area of New England. New York actually picking up some areas of snow showers out there. I'm saying a shout out to my cousin Alex over in the Bronx at Fordham. Hopefully everything's going pretty well there and not too much snow being seen at this location. Where we are, we're going to be seeing a uptick in the chance of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico and also looking again at more possibility of a minor burst of snow coming down our direction from the northwest. We'll talk about that in just a little while. Currently not seeing anything in the way of rain across the Mid-South area. Radar is clean sweeps across the Mid-South for now, but again, that will be changing as we get into the next couple of days. Satellite picture, again, fairly clear, but taking a look up into the northwestern areas as I dodge the mosquitoes out here in this afternoon. Upper left-hand corner of the screen in the graphic up that direction, you see some clouds starting to drift on down from parts of Missouri, Kansas, and right about down into parts of west-central areas of Illinois. That's part of our next system coming on through, and that will be dropping our way into the course of the weekend. Now on water vapor, where we take a look at how dry the atmosphere is, very dry across the Mid-South, where you see the purple and blue colors north of us, and also again just right over here into around the area of Texas, Louisiana, and the Gulf Coast states, that's where we see more moisture. That's more clouds, more rain, more snow, stuff like that. But in the dry areas, the gray colors that you see there, showing again very dry conditions into parts of the, of the area of the Mid-South, but more moisture starting to come our direction from up north. If you'd like to see more about what's going on with the weather, especially this weekend when you're out and about and would like to see more going on, check out our exclusive, again, interactive radar page that's available at wrhg.com slash weather, just so you know about that and to bookmark that and keep it handy. Just go to wrhg.com, click on the weather section, very easy to find, no problem whatsoever on that. Let's take a look at the national map, that cold front that you see up there into around Texas, Louisiana, and the Gulf Coast, that's what moved through last night and gave us those thunderstorms that did a pretty good number on some houses in and around the area and some trees out across portions of the Mid-South as well, damage and debris on some of the roadways out there from early this morning. Now, that cold air that is behind that front back to the north, that's sitting in place right now over the area. That's why I'm out here with, again, the leather jacket to stay a little bit on the warmer side out here. It's, it's dry and it's pleasant, but it's also decently chilly, and that cold air is going to come into play with the forecast as we get into the weekend. With that cold air already in place, that sort of dome of cold air coming down behind that front, some of this cold air is going to be coming right down off of Canada, so it's going to be even colder tomorrow than what it is for today. But as moisture comes up from the Gulf of Mexico and rides over the top of that cold air and falls into it, that's where we may see the potential of maybe some more problems coming our direction where it comes to stuff in the way of precipitation chances. Let's show you what we've got going on again for the possibility of what's happening out there into again the course of the rest of the day today and into tonight and tomorrow. Much of what we're seeing again at this time is going to be again the possibility 
of seeing light amounts of precipitation coming our direction. Much of what we're looking at right now is, again, going to be the possibility. Okay, sorry about that. That shouldn't be happening. Uh, much of what we're seeing for right now is going to be, again, the possibility of seeing the storm system. This isn't working too well, so let's switch over to something else. Uh, much of what we're going to be looking at tonight is going to be the cold temperatures first. The light blue on the warning map indicates, again, uh, frost advisories where there's going to be patchy frost, and that encompasses basically all of the Mid-South area, excluding down toward Coahoma, Quitman counties in that area, and also Phillips County into parts of Arkansas. So if you have any plants in that light shaded area, might want to go ahead and cover them up just to be on the safe side because we may be seeing the possibility of some uh, frost there. Dark blue shaded categories north of Jonesboro into the Boot Hill, southeast Missouri, and into around portions of West Tennessee. The dark blue indicates a freeze warning. Hard frost possible. Outdoor plants, again, going to have to, if you got them, try to make certain that you either bring them indoors or, if possible, cover them up to avoid the possibility of them getting damaged by anything involved frost out there. Now the possibility of cold air is going to be sticking around throughout the rest of the weekend. Getting into Saturday night and Sunday, that is where we're seeing again the problems of anything involving the possibility of anything collecting on the ground. The moisture mixing in with that cold air and bringing us the possibility of some frozen precipitation. Now it looks like mainly north of I-40 is going to be the main thing and mainly north of Shelby County which is where the National Weather Service is saying we're going to be looking at more of a problem out there and I agree with the forecast as it stands as of right now. It looks like unless something radically changes which is still possible but we'll talk about that in a little bit. It looks like Memphis and the metro area, northern Mississippi, east central Arkansas along and on either side of I-40 that's going to be where we see little, if anything, in the way of precipitation. Now, south of that, Tupelo, Oxford, Clarksdale, Batesville, Water Valley, looks like that's going to be staying just plain rainfall, cold rainfall, but still the possibility of rainfall out across much of that area. North of that, in the blue shaded category, up around Poinsett, Craighead, Mississippi counties in Arkansas, anything north of the Memphis metro area in northwest Tennessee, north of Jackson, north of I-40, up to Dyersburg and the Boot Hill, that's where we may pick up some accumulation. But as of right now, again, we're talking about not that much, maybe up to about an inch of snow if the conditions are right and right about now it's going to be iffy to see if that actually happens at this point so we may see again the possibility of some more problems into and around the area as we go into the weekend where it comes to anything involving precipitation this is not going to be a huge system but that does not mean that you should treat this again and just say, oh, well, nothing's going to happen. We don't have to worry about it. You do need to stay tuned to News Channel 3 so we can keep you updated on what may go on. These forecasts can change. Again, we can start off with things looking relatively simple all the way on through, but it only takes a level of warm air coming through at about a few thousand feet up to change an entire forecast around, and we usually don't see that happening until within a couple of hours of the occurrence of that going on. So it's going to take, again, some forecasting changes in this to just mess up a lot of travel plans out there and a lot of outdoor plans. So this is where you need to stay tuned to News Channel 3 so we can keep you advised as to what's going on out across much of the Mid-South area. Now again, for tonight, we're not going to be seeing too much out there. Much of what we're looking at right now is going to be, again, the possibility of seeing the chance of anything involving precipitation being very far gone from the area for right now. But much of what we're looking at at this time is going to be, again, uh, the potential of anything occurring late tomorrow night into tomorrow evening. Now, what this is you're looking at here is called a meteogram. This is, again, it's very simple to read. It doesn't require a doctrine in physics for this. From left to right on the screen, you're looking at time going from Saturday at about midnight, right about here, all the way across. And the green lines that you see up there, again, the bar graph showing the increasing possibilities of rainfall as we go from Saturday morning all the way throughout Saturday afternoon. And then at the top bar, you notice those red and blue lines up there. That's temperature and wind chill way up at the top as they start to head back downwards again. That's where we see the temperatures start to go 
a little bit to around the area of freezing. It's not going to be that cold. It will be cold enough to allow some snowfall. This map, that this graphic that you see here, is meant for Memphis and for around the Shelby County metro area. Notice just below the green bars, you see just a little bit of some blue bars there right down toward the bottom of that one particular graphic. And much of what we're looking at right here is going to, again, be the possibility of seeing the problems in the Mid-South area be in the form of rainfall across much of the area. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit closer to that here for you so you can see a little bit better. Uh, what we're looking at again is just going to be the possibility of just not really all that much occurring. This is a bit of a close-up graphic for you. Again, the possibility of rainfall begins tomorrow morning, continues until about midnight on Sunday, and then very swiftly that really starts to change over to that blue bar marking the snowfall, snowfall possibility from midnight through about Sunday morning about sunrise or so. It doesn't look all that big, but it doesn't take that much to start causing problems either. And that's something that we are going to be keeping our eyes on as we get into the next about 24 to 36 hours, especially for this potential. We see, again, the possibility of maybe some light rain, maybe some light snow mixed in with there, maybe some sleet, depending on the temperature profile. Here's the big thing for right now. This is where we see the problem coming our way with maybe, depending on the temperature profiles, in northwest Arkansas first and then back over toward the Tennessee-Mississippi state line right around northwest Alabama, southwest middle Tennessee, there could be that small possibility of some freezing rain. Now that could cause a lot of problems, especially on bridges and overpasses, especially into early Sunday morning. Is it going to be a complete and total whiteout? No. Is it going to be anything in the way of major amounts? of snowman building competition type stuff? No, not right now. But once again, this will change. So my forecast, I'll be on throughout the rest of the weekend. Definitely want to stay tuned for more updates on that. And I'll have all the information about what may be occurring, what's coming our way, the updates, everything else that will be taking place. That's what we'll have coming up throughout the weekend on News Channel 3. Once again, for tonight, if you're going to be out and about, this is what you're going to have to deal with. Very cold out there. We see again, excuse me, i got a fly on the screen. We have again the possibility of, again, this cold weather tonight causing problems for flowers tomorrow. So tonight, you want to cover up your plants and bring them indoors if you possibly can to protect against another killing frost for portions of the area. Getting into around tomorrow, that's where we see again that potential for uh, maybe some snowfall and some different types of precipitation. Again, this map courtesy of the National Weather Service in Memphis. And this gives us a better idea as to what we're going to be seeing into around the Mid-South again for the time being. This will change. So again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that throughout the rest of the weekend, and we'll keep you updated on that. Again, keep up to date by going to these social media networks. You can find me on there. You can also find me at the web address at the top of your screen, right above my head up there where it says wreg.com slash weather. And we'll have more details on your forecast again throughout the weekend on starting on daybreak Saturday morning and all the way through the possibility of winter weather as we get into the early early portions of Sunday morning. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll have more coming up again with News Channel 3's Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers tonight on First at Four and following throughout the rest of the evening. And of course, I'll be on bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Thanks for joining me for today's latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. <laughs>